Hello and welcome to the next week goes uh, retro game review video and for this one it is Starlifter which was written in 1987 by Steve Lee although this title page, the layout of it, should tell you straight away that it's a Steve Lee game uh, this was published by, I think it was by Mastertronic I'll check on that before I uh, upload it. Now Steve Lee made the name for himself when uh, he wrote The Falcon Patrol, which uh, despite being somewhat simple even when it was released, I think it was released in 84, maybe even 83, um, it was still a decent game, it was well received, uh, it sold pretty well, it made his name. Then along came Falcon Patrol 2 and improved for every single aspect of the first Falcon Patrol game. It was a fantastic uh, horizontal uh, shoot -em up Then after that came Hunter Patrol, which was not so great, to put it mildly. So, now we have Starlifter. I'm sure he must have done other games between Hunter Patrol and this, because there's something like two years between them. Uh, but with this one, he's gone back to the uh, horizontal shoot -em up But this time, as you can probably guess from the title, it is uh, science fiction based. It could have been fantastic, but it does have issues. So let's get a game underway and see how we do. Now, the first thing I've learnt with this game is... Well, first of all, to move once you start. The second thing is, don't uh, stay in one place when you've got a load of uh, enemy uh, ships around because, as you've just seen, you will constantly be shot down, in some cases, within a second. That's already game over. Uh, at least on that go, it didn't do the one thing that really does piss you off with this game. But it has to now, this time. As soon as you start, you are blown out of the fucking sky, and there is fuck all you can do about it. Then the next thing is uh, these background ships, which do have uh, parts on them that you can destroy. Um, they will fire at you, and um, when they do, you don't have a great deal of warning that they are about to fire, and they will just blast you away effortlessly. Now, as you look at the uh, bottom there, you'll see hits too. That's how many ships you need to destroy to get off this level. So there we go, I've destroyed the last one. Uh, rather like Hunter Patrol, the actual first level is called level zero for some reason. So although it says prepare, prepare for level one, it's actually the second level. So off we go. And again, it's more of the same. So yes, as I say, the large ships in the uh, background, you can destroy parts of them. Um, and I think in later levels, that is necessary for you to progress. I really want to destroy those fucking ships at the top there, but I didn't even see the shot that destroyed me there. There's no sign of it. As far as I can tell, I blew up for no reason. So, uh, I'll have another go. Again there! What hit me? I didn't fucking see anything. And then there... I didn't have the chance to move, I was dead within a second of the level restarting. This game could have been really good. It, it could well have been, you know, Falcon Patrol in space, which I would have considered a decent game. But it is ruined by these fucking bullshit... Uh, I don't know if they're glitches or if they are by design, but it's as if your ship just blows up for no fucking reason. You cannot see the shots that take you out. Um, you know, there's just nothing there. You just seem to blow up. It's as if you've hit a fucking self-destruct uh, mechanism or something. 
So I've got two more, one more to shoot, uh, shoot down. There we go. So on to level two, even though it's called level one. So because of the, uh, you know, dodgy being destroyed seemingly from nowhere, you find yourself hanging around the bottom of the screen all the time because if you head up, you will be blown up for, what to say, no reason. So I'm not doing too badly on this go. For some reason, I actually saw that shot that hit me. For some reason, to get on a high score sheet, the lowest score you have to beat is 3,110. Why couldn't it just been, you know, 3,000, 3,500, whatever? I don't know. 3,110. Oh, okay, right, on to uh, the third level. So the graphics, uh, the, the colour scheme changes a bit, but that's, that's all that really changes. So I'm determined to get to uh, uh, level... Uh, or get on the high score sheet, and I think I only need to take out one more ship, and I've done it. There we go, I've actually got myself on the high score sheet. Isn't that fantastic? Now, okay, by 1987 standards, this game is very simple. There's no power-ups or anything like that. It's just, you know... Fire and and hope you uh, blow the fuckers up. Once you've taken out a set number of uh, enemy ships, then away you go to onto uh, the next level. So yeah, I knew I was going to regret going up there. Uh, yeah, compared to uh, a lot of shoot 'em ups of the time, it is extremely basic. But yeah, if if it wasn't for these stupid like, you know, like your ship blowing up for seemingly no reason. If that wasn't there, this would be a good game. But they are there, and they ruin it. So I can't say it's, I, I can't say it's a good game. It's a game that has potential, but the potential isn't realised. I think that's game over. Yeah, but I get to put my name in. Lucky old me. Only just, I'm right at the fucking bottom. I don't know if it saves the score or not. Oh, I'll put the name in just in case. So let's get on with the uh, review. Um, we'll start with the audio. I actually quite like this uh, theme tune whatever you want to call it, the uh, title page, uh, music. It's, it's sort of epic whilst being simple, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I quite like it. Um, the in-game audio is quite basic, to put it mildly. Um, so yeah. Good music, very ordinary uh, sound effects. Um, as far as uh, graphics go, I've seen far worse, but I mean, you know, they're not going to uh, rival, you know, Thalamus or anything like that. Um, and then the gameplay, okay, the game does play quite simply, but I mean, None of this detracts from the fact that the game would be good if it didn't have these fucking irritating, uh, well, I don't know if they're glitches or what. I think I just saw the uh, shot the uh, split second before it hit me. I, mean, I remember one time seeing a review and somebody said it's not exactly sanctioned. I was thinking, well, that's, that's a good thing. I'm going to destroy five more ships, but I could well be destroyed myself any moment now. Right, two more to go. 
Oh, you f I knew I'd regret going up the top there. So there you go. Um, the gameplay is okay, but uh, yeah, once you move out of the bottom of the screen, you could be destroyed at any time, and 99% of the time you don't seem to have any uh, sort of warning it's about to happen, there's no shots that you can see, you just blow up. And there are too many occasions where as soon as you start, whether it's start the game as a whole, or if you start your next life, you are suddenly just blown up, bang, in the blink of an eye. If it didn't have those things in it, it would be an okay game, but it does, and they and they ruin it. So I will give it six out of ten. Um, I do prefer it to uh, Hunter Patrol, but uh, so you know it's not the worst game Steam Lee's done, but um, yeah, it ain't Falcon Patrol 2, that's for sure. So uh, there you go. So that is Starlifter then, six out of ten. That brings this review to an end, and we'll see you in the next one.